morning, everyone. Welcome to the class. With a cold weather like this, our joint getting stiffened as the um, air dryer, the inside of our body also getting dry. So let's start with slow movement to bring the fluidity and lubricant into your joint. We're starting by shift away from one foot to another. Then maybe rock forward and back. Then slowly bring your hands to your hips. Begin to let your hips sway side to side. Noticing as well as how your feet connecting down toward the floor. Then pause right here, rock forward. Maybe gently lift your heel up a little bit and exhale, rock back. Flex the toe up toward the ceiling. Continue doing that couple round. Keep your knees soft, bending. Then we'll come to pause to find the stillness. Breathing in, lift both shoulder up toward your ear. And exhale, slide it out through your mouth as you let it go and let your shoulder drop it down. A few more rounds of that. Then we're going to do a quick breath awareness by beginning to scanning through from your whole body. As you're breathing in naturally, begin to feel your breath spreading it out from the nostril to the back of the throat, down to your torso, to your leg. And as you exhale, releasing out from the leg, up to your torso, to the back of the throat, and out for both nostrils. A few more rounds of this. Bring your gaze down toward the floor or gently closing your eye. Observing that flow of your breath, Find a smooth, steady flow that you feel comfortable without pushing or forcing anything. Each time you inhale, feel the lung expanding so that your chest, your ribs open up into all directions. Let the exhale releasing the spell air out from your body. Breathing in slowly, long and deep. Breathing out, softening and releasing all the stale air and things that no longer serve you. Taking the time to find yourself center and balanced right here. With your breath steady, your mind will be quiet. That allowing you to connect in your breath to your body and your breath to your mind. And that where you find the present moment. Breathe deeply that you might even allow in your diaphragm to float all the way down towards the bottom of your pelvic bowl. Noticing how your belly rising up naturally, ribs expanding in all directions. Chest open up, and as you exhale, soften into your chest, draw your ribs into the spine, and empty the air out from your stomach. A few more rounds of that deep breath. Then begin to check in with your body. Besides the stiffness into your joint area, where do you feel this comfort? Is there any parts of your body that need attention today that have to be in a mindful practice? Allowing yourself to practice within your range of motion, knowing what's going on, helping you creating the comfort and safe space. Remember the journey starting from you by listening to that inner voice. Breathe, relaxing your body more and more. In the next couple breaths, giving your
yourself time to set up the intention of your practice. What is it that most important for you at this moment? What practice that would work well for you today? And find your way back to your natural breath. At your own time, then gently open up your eyes. Breathing and lift the shoulder up with your ear. Exhale, dropping it down, soften to your knee. Inhale, circle the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky. Exhale, bend the elbow, pushing the palms down towards the earth. Inhale, then bring the palms out, reaching the arms up. One more time, exhale, bring the palms down, push that energy down. Release tension into your elbow, wrist, and shoulder. And bring the hands to your hip. We we'll start to be bending your knee to circle your knee, your hips. And that will also releasing the tension into your ankle joint. Allow that fluidity to movement into all that joint area. Then on the next inhale, reverse the circle to the opposite side. Slowly come to a pause. Draw your arms out with the palm facing up. Exhale, bring the palm facing down, lengthening to your arms. So try it again. Inhale, not just only the palms up, bring your elbow down toward the floor so that it's an external rotation of your shoulder. And as you exhale, bring the elbow up toward the ceiling, palm facing down. So that we movement to the joint to your shoulder. Try it again. Inhale, palms up, elbow crease up toward the ceiling. And exhale, bring the elbow up, palm facing down. Then very slowly bring the right arms behind your back. Breathing in, circle your left arms across to your right. Lift your right elbow up. Take the gaze with your right elbow crease, then begin to releasing your left arms down. A few more rounds of this will help releasing the tension into your neck, shoulder. One more round, breathing in, lift the elbow up, and this time pause, gazing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, release, bring the arms down. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, left arms back, turn your chest over to your left side, twisting to your left. Breathing in, turn torso forward, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left, circle the shoulder and arms back. One last time, inhale, exhale. Then pause right here, relaxing both arms, noticing the difference. Then bring the left arms behind your back. Inhale, cross your right arm over to the left shoulder. And as you lift the arms up, bend the elbow up, gazing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring the arms down. Keep watching towards your hands or your wrists so that your neck also movement to ease the tension into your neck, shoulder, and jaw. Try to lift to your elbow on your inhale, then the exhale, drop the arms down. One more time. Breathing in, left elbow up, breathing out, circle it, and bring the arms down. We're going to change now. Inhale, arm forward, arm picks up. Exhale, twist to your right, circle the arms behind. Two more times, breathing in and breathing out. Last one, inhale, exhale, twist to the right. And releasing the arms down, let go of both arms. Inhale, lift the shoulder up. Exhale, dropping it down, widen your feet, turn the toe out. Then bend your knee, working to the joint into your knee and ankle and hips by draw your knee towards your toe. Lift to your arch, press more towards your pinky edge. Breathing in straight, the legs squeeze your inner thigh and buttock, lift the arms up, allow the palms to touch. Exhale, bend the knee, draw your knee apart. Bring your hands right in front of your heart and softening to your shoulder. 
Noticing that the inner thigh engaging, knee pointing towards your toe. We're going to try it again. Inhale, press down to your heel, squeeze your inner thigh and buttock, lift the arms up, palms knee. Exhale, point the knee apart, draw your knee away, sinking the tailbone down, hands right in front of your heart. Then slowly, this time, you're going to bring the arm into a full post arm. Keep your knee bending. Deep breath in, exhale, left hand rests on top of the left thigh, right arm going to cross and bending over to your left side. Roll your right shoulder back, lift from your waistline up. Breathing in, coming back to goal post arm. Keep your knee bending so that we're activating and engaging quadricep. Exhale, right hands on your right thigh. Inhale, reaching left arms up. Exhale, side bending to your right side. Breathe. Exhale, coming back to the center. Hinging forward from the hips. Rest your hands on top of the thigh. Then bring your hand inside your thigh bone. Draw the navel in toward the spine. Hinging from the hips, chest parallel toward the floor. Using your hands to draw your knee away. Tailbone back, reaching crab head forward. Deep breath in, exhale, roll the right shoulder toward your left knee. Breathing in back to the center, exhale, left shoulder, right knee. The left hand can help press the left thigh bone away. One more time on each side, so inhale back to the center. Your hands can grab to your thigh if you feel like not strong foundation. Then exhale, roll the right shoulder toward your left knee. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, left shoulder, right knee. Then slowly back to the center, breathing in, squeezing your inner thigh and buttock. Lift your arms up. And as you exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbow. Breathing in this time, elbow meet at the center. Breathing out, elbow out wide. Inhale, point the fingertips down toward the floor. Exhale, release, elbow down, fingertips up. Then begin to bring your hands on the thighs, sinking the tailbone down. Don't lean forward. Lengthening to your torso. We're going to strengthening and balancing into your leg. So inhale, lift the left heel up. See whether you can bring your arm to a goal post arm into a balancing goddess pose. Exhale, releasing left heel down. Inhale, lift the right heel up. Exhale, release right heel down. One more time. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift right heel. Exhale, down. Then we're going to start balancing by bringing both heels off from the floor. Draw your knee apart. Two more breaths. Last one, as you exhale, releasing the heel, straight the leg, releasing the arm, turn the toe in, checking your leg out. See whether you like to twist to ease off the holding and gripping into your hips and thigh bone by twisting, lift the opposite heel off from the floor. Then slowly grabbing the block or the cushion, come and meet me at the tops of the mat. Once you're at the top of the mat, softening to your knee, breathing in, circle the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky. Breathing out, sinking the tailbone down, shift the weight down to your heels, bring the arms forward into your chair pose. Lift the ten toe off of the floor, activating to your leg. Then bring your hands to your thigh, lengthening the tailbone down, navel in, Lift the chest away from your belly. Exhale, press your thigh bone back. Bring your chest down toward the thigh bone. Crowd the head, hanging down, standing forward fold. If you like to grab the block to help lengthening your arm, you can have that choice. Or grabbing your hands to your leg or to the opposite elbow. Nodding yes. And allow your torso to gently sway side to side no. Letting go of all the holding into the back of your neck by letting the top of the crown of the head hanging down. 
knowing that the head getting heavier and the gravity draw you down towards the earth. Slowly releasing your hands, breathing in, begin to step right foot back into your lunge lunge by grabbing the block to frame your foot. Allowing the block to be right behind your left foot. Step wide and enough that your left knee on tops of the ankle, shoulder back, tailbone lengthening. Exhale, releasing right knee down toward the floor, uncurling your toe. Deep breath in. Begin to bring both hands on top of the thigh, shift your torso back, bring the tailbone down toward the floor. Option to bring your arms out, reaching it up toward the sky into your low crescent lunge. As you exhale, begin to bring your hands on the thigh, grabbing the block, put the block down under, to the outside of your left hip, breathing in, reaching right arms up, Exhale, side, bending to your left side to stretching the outer hips and the front of your hip flexor. So draw your right hip slightly forward to bring your thigh bone closer down toward the floor. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly release, move the block back, bring both hands inside your left foot. Then draw your left foot back, bend your knee, find yourself into your table. Breathing in, tailbone up, drop your belly down and reaching the heart forward, cow pose. Breathing out, tuck the tailbone down, draw the navel into the spine, lift the mid back up, chin toward your chest, cat pose. Two more times, inhale, we stretch the front body, so bring the chest away from your belly. Breathing out, contraction and rounding your back to bring your chest and belly to meet at the center. Relax into your neck by look towards your belly. Cat pose. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out, navel into the spine, letting go. Then slowly open up your knee wide, big toe touch, shift the tailbone towards the heel, forehead rest on the floor or the block. Chai pose. The time to pause and checking in with your body. Letting go. Allow each inhale to lengthen your arm forward more to stretching the back area that you feel the space in every vertebrae of your spine. Breathing out, feel the front body so heavily connecting down toward the floor. Then slowly press back to your hands. Inhale, tuck in the toe, lift the knee up from the ground, tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing down. Adjusting hands and feet position that you find the weight evenly. If not, then walking your feet slightly forward. Then begin to bend your knee one at a time by paddling to your feet to ease off the tension to the back of your leg creating the mobility into the joint of your ankle, knees, and hips. Then pause right here, lengthening to your arm, push your palms away. Breathing in, bending your knee, eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your head, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, hand to the shin bone or to the thigh bone. Then sinking the tailbone down, Come up into your chair pose. Breathing in, bring the arm forward at the shoulder height. Breathing out, right arms behind your back. Then begin to bring your left wrist to the outside of the right thigh, twisting and rotating the upper chest and ribcage toward your right side. Noticing that if your left knee come forward, shift your left hip back and draw your right shoulder away from your left hip. Are you engaging your abdominal? You draw the navel in toward the spine. Breathing in, come forward, arms out at the shoulder height level. Breathing out, left arms behind your back, then right wrist to the outside of the left thigh, begin to rotating the chest to your left side. Once again, right tailbone back, press down toward the heel, breathing in, 
Breathing out, arm towards forward fold, hands down toward the floor, standing forward fold. Inhale, shift the weight toward your right foot, step left foot back, then grabbing the block to frame your foot. The block is about shoulder width apart and right behind your right foot. And if you're in a narrow foot, heel toe your right foot to the corner edge so that it's more widened. Create more space into your hips area, particularly those who have a very tight hip. Press back to your left heel when you're ready. Lower your left knee down. See if your right knee and right foot is not in line, you can scoot in your right foot forward so that your knee on top of the ankle. Breathing in, begin to bring both hands on top of the thigh, lift your torso up, lengthening your tailbone down. With the option, draw the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky, low crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Breathing out, bring the hands down, right hands grabbing the block, put it to the outside of the right hip. Inhale, left arms out and up. Exhale, side bending over to your right side. Roll your left hip back, left shoulder in line with the hips. Lift the arms up. Similarly, if you shift your right knee slightly forward to draw your left hip flexor forward more, you might feel deepening, stretching towards the left side. Breathing in, exhale, release. Move the block away, bring both hands inside your right foot, sliding that right foot back to meet up with the left into your table. Walking both hands forward, bring your forearms and elbow down. Rest into your puppy pose. Observing and noticing what's happening to the upper back area. As you're moving your arm forward more and more, where do you feel the stretch? Do you feel it more towards your armpit? Do you feel more towards the upper back, your rib cage? Where is it that you can send your breath energy towards that area? When you're ready, then slowly press back into your table. Breathing in, shift the weight toward your left knee, extending right leg behind. Point the toe down toward the floor. If you're leaning to your left side, press down toward your right hand. See whether you like to extending left arm forward to find the balance right here into your spinal balance. Lengthening arms and legs into an opposite direction, not about the height. Continue to breathe. Do you notice in your midline area between your chest and belly get engaged? Next, exhale, draw your knee and elbow to meet at the center. If it's too much for you, either lower your hands or the foot down, just do one thing. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, knee and elbow. One last time, inhale, exhale. Then release left hands down, right toe back down toward the floor. Bring the elbow down one at a time, elbow underneath your shoulder. Then rock forward and back. Stretching at the back of your leg, your glute one more time. Then very slowly pause right here, press your hands back down. Turn your left toe out to the side, right toe to your right into your knee side plank pose. Keep your shoulder and hip in line. Draw the energy from your hip down to your heel. Inhale, right arms up toward the ceiling. Option, draw the right arm forward away from your right leg. Then begin to circle your wrist, clockwise, counterclockwise. Find that joint lubricant, ease the tension up. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, releasing hands down, bring your knee back down into your table. Shift the weight with your right hand, breathing in, left arm out to the side, up toward the ceiling, turn your chest to your left. Exhale, thread the needle, reaching through to your right. Two more times, inhale, arms out and up, breathing out, thread the needle. One last time, inhale, 
Exhale, releasing left shoulder down, left ear down, turn the cheek to your right side. Option, extending right arm forward. Slender yourself down towards the earth. Adjust until you find the comfort into your left shoulder joint, then letting go. Noticing the back area on the shoulder blade on your left side. What happening right there? One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, slowly press your right hand, releasing your left arms, then come back to your table. We'll switch side now, then shift the weight toward your right knee, breathing in, extending left leg behind, roll your inner thigh in, draw your heel away. Then option, extending right arm forward, is about lengthening arms and legs. Feel your breath as we hold right here. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, knee to elbow. Once again, hands can be down toward the floor. Inhale, reaching away. Exhale, contracting at navel. One last time, inhale, exhale. Then releasing right hands down, bring your left toe back, left leg back. Toe down toward the floor. Then begin to releasing your elbow down one at a time. Shift your shoulder forward and back. As you press your heel back, it's also stretching the fascias underneath your feet. Then pause here, press your hands back down. Then turn the right toe out to the side, left toe to your left. Roll both shoulder and hip up toward the ceiling. Breathing in, left arms up. Option, draw your left arm forward. Lengthening that whole left side of your body. Then begin to circle your wrist clockwise. Then counterclockwise. Pause. Breathe. As you exhale, releasing hands and knee down. Open your knee wide, big toe touch. Shift the tailbone towards the heel, forehead rest on the floor, chai pose. Then slowly you will come back up to finish up the tread the needle. So bring yourself back into your table. Breathing in, draw your right arms out to the side, up toward the ceiling. Exhale, tread the needle, reaching through to your left. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out, right shoulder down, right ear down. Turn the head over to your left side. Option to extending left arm forward or bring your left arms behind your back. Allow yourself to connect into your breath so that you can surrender to your pose. Feel your whole body. One more breath here, breathing in, breathing out slowly, press to your left hand, releasing your right arms back up, find yourself back into your table. Then slowly shift the tailbone down towards your heel, bring your hands back up toward your knee, coming up into your sitting. Roll the hip to one side, extending the leg out down towards the floor. Then begin to widen your leg, move the block slightly away first. And as you widen your leg, feel the weight of the sitting bone evenly by rock your sitting bone side to side. Hands outside your hips, point the toe forward, flex the toe back. Circle at the ankle joint clockwise, counterclockwise. When you're ready, then bring your torso back up. See whether you need to use the block or cushion to help elevating your tailbone higher than your knee to keep your back relaxed. Breathing in, reaching the arm forward. Breathing out, draw the navel into the spine. Flex your toe, hinging forward from the hip, releasing that hands down toward the floor. 
look towards the tops of the mat breathing and sliding your arms slightly back and as you exhale hinging down deeper chest parallel towards the floor and forward one more breath here into your sitting wide leg forward fold breathing in breathing out slide your hands back bend your left knee bring the left sole of the foot inside your right thigh rock your sitting bone side to side then once you find yourself grounding down turn your chest over to your right toe inhale lifting both arm forward and up exhale hinging forward from the hip rest the hands down to your calf to your thigh bone or down toward the floor allow your heel to push away from your sitting bone observing the sensation behind your leg hands to toe pose janusi chasana one more breath breathing in breathing out slowly sliding your hands back reaching both arm forward and up on your inhale exhale twisting to your left side right hand to the outside of the left knee left fingertips down toward the floor anchor down toward your right sitting bone breathing in reaching up tall breathing out draw your left shoulder away from your right hip relax into the face and jaw drop that left shoulder down allow the spinal rotation towards the shoulder then very slowly turn your chin over to your right shoulder ease that tension off from your neck area see whether you like to move your left hand even further away to ease the tension off from that shoulder if you want more tilting right ear down towards the floor draw your chin up toward the ceiling lengthening the left side of your neck inhale back to the center turn the head over to your left side then reaching left arms up drop your right shoulder down as you exhale then draw left shoulder left hand over to your right toe roll your armpit toward the ceiling anchor down toward your left sitting bone so that you can lift your armpit up toward the ceiling away from your hip one more breath breathing in breathing out releasing left arms back down then turn your torso back to the center pause and notice the difference when you're ready switch side bend your right knee extending left leg away press down to your heel flex the toe point and flex circle your ankle clockwise counterclockwise then begin to turn your torso to your left side inhale left arm forward and up exhale hinging forward from the hips leading with your heart bring your rib cage down toward your thigh bone maybe shifting side to side breathing in release a little bit and as you exhale hinging down deeper relaxing to your shoulder bring your chest forward look forward towards the tops of the mat letting go and allow yourself to use your body weight to hinging down deeper one more breath breathing in breathing out sliding your hands back turn your torso to the center inhale reaching both arms up exhale twisting to your right side left hand outside your right knee right fingertips down inhale root it down toward your sitting bone exhale twisting from your waist line up and draw your right shoulder away from your hip reaching through the crown of the head softening to your face your jaw draw the navel in then slowly turn your chin over to your left shoulder stay right here or tilting that left ear down toward the floor 
turn the chin up toward the ceiling. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, slow motion, turn your head back over to your right. Inhale, right arms up, lengthen right side of your body, and begin to drop your left shoulder down. As you exhale, draw your right arm toward your left toe. Bring your right arm pit up toward the ceiling. Anchor down toward that right sitting bone. Feel the space into that right rib cage. Noticing what happening to the outer hips. Breathe. Exhale slowly, release. Bring your arms down, turn your torso back. Pause and notice. Then begin to bend both knees. Bring the sole of the foot towards one another. Rock your sitting bone side to side. Lift the knee up and down, bring your heel closer to your body. If it still feel cold and tightness to you, you can grab to your ankle today. That's nothing fancy that my knee is so high up. So don't think about pushing it down just enough that you feel sensation. Most importantly is lengthening to your torso, rooted down toward your tailbone. For some of you that already warm up and have more flexibility, you can interest your hands and press it down underneath your pinky. So today I'm going to take the option as my body still stiffness, so I grab into my ankle. Inhale, reaching up tall, then exhale, hinging forward from the hip, press your elbow towards your thigh, lengthening your crown, the head forward, and bring your chest down closer toward the floor. Maybe closing your eyes and allow yourself to feel the sensation. If you experience any pain, then backing off. Continue to breathe. Baddha Konasana or Bow Angle Pose. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out slowly, release, bring your hands underneath your knee, roll your knee back toward the center one at a time, sliding your feet forward, rest your rib cage toward your thigh, chin on top of the knee, allow the sensation to subside. Then very slowly rising back up, hands either underneath your thigh or outside your hips, soft bending your elbow, inhale leaning slightly back, roll the shoulder back and lift the chest up, shift the weight towards the heel, toe pointing up toward the ceiling. On your next exhale, navel into the spine and bring your chest away from your belly into your upward boat pose. If you like, you can lift both feet off from the floor or releasing your arm forward. Choose the option. And if you want to bring the heat up, you can movement with it. As you inhale, open the arm, push the heat feet forward. Exhale, bend your knee, navel into the spine, arm forward. Inhale, arms out, leg out. Exhale, squeeze everything, bring everything back to the center. Four more time, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, release. Letting go of everything, particularly the gripping and holding at your belly. Softening to your face, your jaw. When your body ready to lie down, then find your way to lie down to your back. Make sure you have a couple blocks at the tops or nearby that you can use. I'm going to lie down to the side so that you can see me. And as I lie down toward the floor, open your knees slightly wide and begin to draw your knee up toward your armpit so that way you create more space toward the sacrum area. 
and allow your hands to grab at the inner thigh or at the tops of your knee to widen your knee apart to bring your shoulder away. Shoulder blade now resting down toward the floor completely. Continue to breathe and if you like, gently roll side to side, massaging your back to ease off all the tension right there. Then slowly lower the foot down toward the floor one at a time, bend your knee, feet flat down, arm along the side of your body, palm facing down. Breathing in, press down to your feet and hand, lift the hips up, then sliding your knee forward to bring your hip up toward the ceiling, gently squeeze into your buttock or outer hips. As you get into your bridge, bridge pose, you have an option with the roll arms underneath your body, bring the tops of the shoulder down toward the floor, interest your hands underneath your sitting bone. Each time you inhale, you slide in your knee forward and bring your thigh bone parallel, hips up toward the ceiling. Breathe deeply enough that you feel your ribcage expanding in all directions. Allow the bridge pose to release in the tension into your quadricep area, the hip flexor, and open up and release the tension into your psoas muscle. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, releasing your arms out wide. Roll yourself one vertebrae at a time from the upper back, mid back, lower back, and the last thing to come down is your sacrum. Taking a pause and allow your body to just rest right here. Then when your body is ready, open the left knee out down toward the floor, followed by the right knee into a windshield wiper to ease the tension in your lower back. Breathing in, right knee up, followed by the left Exhale, right knee turn out to the side, followed by the left. A few more times on your own pace. So inhale, both knee point up toward the ceiling, feet flat. Exhale, roll both knee over to your left side. Keep your shoulder down, breathing in, bring the knee back up, pause so that it's not a momentum. And exhale, roll both knee over to your right. One more time on each side with the hold. So inhale back with the center, pause. Exhale, roll both knee over to your left side, pause right here. And if you want more sensation, lift your left foot, bring your left ankle on top of the right thigh. Expanding your arms out wide or up toward the ceiling so that you're stretching yourself in all directions. Easing off the tension into your lower back and spine. If it feels good, see whether you like to turn the head to your right side. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, uncrossing your leg, roll your right knee up, followed by the left. See whether you need to lift your hips up, send down to adjusting. When you're ready, then roll both knee over to your right side. With the option, lift your right foot up, right ankle on top of the left thigh. Option to turn the head to your left side. See where you want to press your arm. Can you relaxing more? Noticing the front of the body and the back of the body. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, and crossing your leg, roll the knee back up one at a time, bring your arms back. Take a moment to checking in with your body. Then slowly crossing right ankle on top of the left thigh, flex right toe toward your right knee. Try to keep right sacrum down so that it's weight evenly. Stay right here in your figure four of supine pigeon pose and using your right hands to draw your right thighs and knee away. 
or lift the left foot off on the floor and draw your thigh bone towards your rib cage. If you like, you can thread the needle and bring the hands to grab behind your thigh or in front of your left knee. Relaxing to the back of your shoulder, press your shoulder blade down. Lengthening to the back of your neck, softening to the front of your throat. Continue to breathe. Each time you exhale, you feel the weight of your leg draw you down towards your chest more and more. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, releasing the hands. Lower your left foot down. I'm crossing your leg. Checking in your left side, right side, noticing the difference. When you're ready, cross left ankle on top of the right thigh. Flex your left toe toward your left knee. Left hands draw your thighs away, but keep your sacrum down evenly. Stay right here or lift your right foot off from the floor. Each exhale, bring your knee closer toward your chest. Allow yourself to really slender towards the pose, using the breath to help you ease the tension off, softening to the face and jaw, maybe even closing your eyes so that you can feel all the sensation. Breathe, exhale, begin to release, bring your right foot down and crossing your leg. As your body begins to relax in more, when you're ready, then grabbing the block, bend your knee, press down to your feet, inhale, lift the hips up, and sliding the block right underneath your sacrum, the flat area. Arms down toward the floor, point your knee forward, almost like a, you gently point it to be bone forward as your knee move forward. It's a gently arching to the back as the extension to the front body. Then as you exhale, relaxing your lower back a little bit, draw the navel in. Find that neutral spine and when you feel ready, extending the leg out, down toward the floor one at a time. Press down to your heel and flex that toe back toward your knee so that you keep your leg and inner thighs activating. Then slowly point the toe forward, begin to feel release, that you're stretching to the tops of the feet, the tops of the chin bone, open up the space into your kneecap, quadricep, relax, hip flexor open. Now if you want to activate and ease the tension off into your rib cage, then extending the arms out wide or up toward the ceiling. Lengthening that arms and leg into the opposite direction. Breathe. On your next exhale, then bring your arms back in a slow motion, sliding that foot back down toward the floor with the bend knee. Option hands can grab into the block for more comfort and steady. When you're ready, then bend your left knee, lift your left foot up toward the ceiling. If that feels good, then doing the same thing with the right leg. Once both legs up toward the ceiling, see whether you like to point and flex the toe. Maybe even circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. Allowing these inversion to help bring the blood flow back to your heart and calming down to your nervous system. If you like to practicing proud pose, you can take your time to do so if you've done that before. Otherwise, stay into a support proud pose while you bring your hands to grab the block, draw the navel in, and point the toe towards the crowd ahead. Feel more stretch towards your glute and at the back of your leg, at the back of your shoulder. One more breath, breathe.
breathing in, breathing out, taking your time to bend both knees, bring the foot down toward the floor one at a time, pause right here first. When you feel ready, press to your feet, sliding the block away, and rest your sacrum down. Breathing in and breathing out. On the next inhale, then begin to lift your left foot up to the floor, and exhale, draw your knee towards your armpit, sole the foot up toward the ceiling. Same thing, begin to draw the right knee toward your armpit, sole the foot up, hands right behind your thigh into your happy baby pose. Rock yourself side to side, ease off all the tension. If you'd like to move your hand somewhere else to the back of the calf or the outside edge of your foot, make sure that your sacrum are down toward the floor. This way you get your lower back to relaxing, ease that tension off. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out, slowly release, bring your foot down toward the floor one at a time. Grabbing both block and press the block underneath your thigh to elevating your leg higher than your hip so that your back getting relaxing more. Widen your leg toward turning out to an opposite direction. Relaxing your arms, draw your arms away. Adjust until you find that comfort and ease, then gently closing your eyes. Feel your body melting down toward the floor with each exhale. The time to let it go and surrender yourself down towards the earth. The time to let your body rest and rejuvenate. By just follow the breath in and out. Riding with the waves of your breath to the journey of your deep relaxation. Slowly bring your awareness back towards your body and see whether you like to move the block or the cushion away so that you can rest completely down towards the floor. Taking your time. When your body feels ready, then wiggling to your toes, your hands. Allow your head to gently turn side to side. Inhale, extending the arms up all the way to the crown of the head. Stretching your body in all directions. Exhale, bend the knee one at a time. The option to bring that knee up toward your chest, hands on tops of the knee. Begin to roll yourself gently side to side, awakening the back body. The next 
next time you roll to your right side using the bottom arm supporting head neck and shoulder bring your knees slightly up so you curl yourself like you curl into the mother's womb taking your time when your body ready use the top hands to press yourself back up into your sitting position Once you find that comfort sitting position, noticing the weight of your sitting bone that rooted down toward the floor are evenly. The spine are light enough, lengthening all the way to the crowd head. Checking in to see the quality of your breath. Do you find your breath ease and easy than when you first walk in into this class. Find the quality of your mind, noticing that calmness and relax. Allowing that calmness and relax be with you as long as you can till the next time you meet. Inhale, bring the arms out, reaching it up toward the sky and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, hands right in front of your heart as we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you for joining the practice with me this morning. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend till we see each other next week.